So China's decided to stop buying oil from the United States. Big news, right? But let's break it down a bit more. This isn't just about two countries and some barrels of crude. It's a complex web of international relations and economic strategies. It's a major geopolitical power play. Think of it as a chess game where every move has far-reaching consequences. Imagine two heavyweight boxers in the ring. They've been circling each other, trading jabs, each waiting for the perfect moment to strike. They've been circling each other, trading jabs. Each punch is calculated, each move is strategic. Suddenly, one throws a haymaker. It's a bold, unexpected move that changes the dynamics of the fight. That's China cutting off US oil. It's not just a simple economic decision, it's a statement. It's unexpected, potentially game-changing, and has everyone on edge. Businesses are scrambling to understand the implications. This move has massive implications for... Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Folks, we're talking about shifts in global oil prices, changes in trade routes, and potential economic ripple effects. We're talking about the world's two largest economies and their place in the global energy market. The stakes couldn't be higher. Let's delve into why this is happening and what it means for all of us. Is it a strategic maneuver to gain leverage in trade negotiations? Or perhaps a response to political tensions? Whatever the reason, the impact will be felt globally. So stay tuned as we unpack this seismic shift in the world of oil and geopolitics. First, let's try to understand China's motives. Why is China making such a significant move at this particular moment in time? To grasp the full picture, we need to delve into the underlying factors driving this decision. Why make this drastic move now? The timing is crucial and not coincidental. The global landscape is shifting, and China is keenly aware of the opportunities and challenges that lie ahead. Well, think of it like this. China's been trying to reduce its dependence on the US dollar for ages. This isn't a new ambition. It's a long-term strategy that has been in the works for years. The reliance on the US dollar has always been a point of vulnerability for China. It's like relying on your grumpy neighbor for transportation. Not ideal. Imagine having to depend on someone who isn't always reliable or friendly. That's the situation China finds itself in with the US dollar. They've been looking for ways to secure their energy supply without relying on the United States. Energy is a critical component of any nation's security and economic stability. For China, finding alternative sources and routes for energy has been a top priority. This move towards energy independence is a way for them to call the shots, to be the masters of their own destiny. By securing their energy needs independently, China can ensure greater control over its future. But there's more to it than just energy independence. This decision is multifaceted, involving economic, political and strategic dimensions. It's about positioning China as a dominant player on the global stage. This is also about sending a message. China wants to demonstrate its resolve and capability to the world. It's a statement of intent, showing that China is ready to take bold steps to secure its interests. It's China flexing its muscles on the world stage, showing that it's not afraid to make bold moves, even if it ruffles some feathers. This is a clear signal to other nations that China is a force to be reckoned with, and it will not shy away from asserting its influence and pursuing its goals with determination. Now, let's talk about the US. This move throws a wrench into their plans, no doubt about it. Imagine a farmer suddenly losing a major customer for their crops. It's not good news. The US oil industry, already grappling with various challenges, is now facing a significant loss in exports. This could lead to job losses, reduced investment, and a hit to the overall economy. But it's not just about the immediate economic impact. This move also weakens the US's hand in global politics. 
It's a reminder that the world is changing, and the US can't just dictate terms anymore. But hold on, it's not all smooth sailing for China either. This is a risky move, like walking a tightrope without a safety net. They're heavily reliant on oil imports, and finding alternative sources won't be easy. Sure, they've been investing in renewable energy and securing deals with other oil-producing nations. But can they replace the sheer volume of oil they were getting from the United States? That's the million-dollar question. If they don't manage this transition smoothly, they could face energy shortages, price spikes, and economic instability. And you know what they say about playing with fire. Section 5. Winners and Losers A New World Order So, who comes out on top in this geopolitical chess match? The stakes are higher than ever, and the players are more diverse. It's too early to say for sure. The world is in a state of flux and predictions are risky. But one thing's clear. This move accelerates the shift in global power dynamics. The traditional powerhouses are being challenged and new contenders are emerging. Countries like Russia and Saudi Arabia, eager to fill the void left by the US, are probably rubbing their hands with glee. They see a chance to not only increase their market share, but also to reshape the global order in their favor. They see an opportunity to increase their market share and exert more influence on the world stage. This is not just about economics. It's about strategic positioning and long-term influence. This situation creates a more multipolar world where no single nation holds all the cards. The balance of power is more distributed, leading to a complex web of alliances and rivalries. Whether that leads to more cooperation or more conflict, well, that's a question for another day. The future is uncertain, and the only thing we can be sure of is that the world will never be the same again. The new world order is still taking shape, and its final form is anyone's guess. Section 6. The petrodollar under threat? Now, you might be wondering, what about the petrodollar? You know, that whole system where oil is traded in US dollars, propping up the US economy? Well, some argue that China's move is a direct attack on the petrodollar. By reducing their reliance on US oil, they're chipping away at the dominance of the US dollar in global trade. It's like slowly pulling at a loose thread on a sweater. It might not unravel the whole thing immediately, but it weakens the overall structure. Whether this leads to a full-blown currency war, only time will tell. Section 7. What's next? Navigating the unknown. So, where do we go from here? Honestly, folks, it's a bit of a crapshoot. We're in uncharted territory, and the consequences of China's move are still unfolding. Will other countries follow suit and reduce their dependence on US oil? Will the US retaliate with tariffs or sanctions? How will this impact the global economy and the fight against climate change? These are all critical questions with no easy answers. One thing's for sure. We're in for a bumpy ride. Section 8. Join the conversation. Your thoughts matter. All right, folks. That's my take on China's big oil move. It's a complex issue with far-reaching consequences. What do you think about all this? Drop your comments below and let me know your thoughts. What are your predictions for the future? And what other global issues should we be talking about? Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and most importantly, stay curious. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.